everyone. Today's video, I would like to talk about why you should visit Brazil on your next vacation instead of Europe. A lot of people in the United States, when they're thinking about planning their next vacation, they kind of default to Europe. Let's go to Europe. And there's nothing wrong with Europe. I was just in Europe. I love Europe. But actually, I take that back. There are a few things that I didn't really like about Europe this time. It's not anyone's specific fault. I'm not blaming any specific country or the, any Europeans. It's kind of just the nature of the travel industry. And this is also a positive video on things that I think Brazil just does much better. So Europe, people go to Europe, there's a lot of history there. It's beautiful, but there are certain problems right now with Europe. The Euro is pretty high. So if you're comparing the Euro to the dollar, they're pretty similar. I think Americans would still find Europe a little bit cheaper than most places in the United States. Obviously it depends if we're talking about big capitals in Western Europe and Eurozone. Maybe if you're going to Eastern Europe, you will get cheaper prices, but I guess the, the, the tourism bubble just keeps moving East. So places that might've been cheap five years ago in, in, in the Balkans are now getting pretty expensive. Whereas Brazil, that is not the case. The Brazilian real, the currency, is pretty weak compared to the dollar currently. So if you are looking for a good place where you get bang for your buck, Brazil certainly is the place. So let's, if we're thinking about financials, Brazil would certainly be a cheaper flight. Finding flights might be a little bit more expensive than going to a major city in Europe, but I'm not sure, especially if you leave from New York or Orlando or any big city on the East Coast, maybe Atlanta as well. You could probably find some cheap flights into Sao Paulo and Rio. So you're going to spend less money because of the currency. Things are also cheaper. But of course, if I was just saying go to a cheap place. That's not why I'm saying go to Brazil. There are many reasons why I prefer Brazil to Europe and definitely to other places that I visited. The first thing is the Brazilians. Brazilians are very friendly people. They're very uh, welcoming people. They're open to tourists and foreigners. One of the reasons is they don't get an overwhelming amount of foreign tourists compared to their size. Maybe if you're in a place like Zona Sul, which is the the, the southern zone of Rio de Janeiro, you will find a lot of tourists, a lot of foreigners, but that's pretty much the exception and not the rule. Most places will get a few gringos, as they're called, foreigners, but not too many. Brazil is a huge country and it has a, and it has a huge domestic market, so you'll find a lot of people traveling from other parts of Brazil on vacation. So what I mean by this is you will get to interact with Brazilians, you will get to experience the local culture. That's more difficult to do in Europe. In many places, um, the people that are working at the restaurant are not from the country you're visiting. It's economics, I understand that's fair, I'm not complaining about that, but if you go to a place, you kind of want to interact with the people from that place. I love going to Brazil when I was just learning Portuguese and I would speak to, to, the, to the Uber driver or I would speak to uh, someone who worked at a restaurant and I could practice my Portuguese. They could give me local tips. They would, they would enjoy the fact that I was trying to talk to them in the local language. Of course, local lang speaking the local language always helps. I was in Greece and I learned maybe 25 phrases in, in Greek and it certainly helped the, the interactions but they just get a lot of tourists and they get a lot of tourists in the high months and it, you're not that special. There's a rule that my friend uh, Seth Kugel, I guess he made up this rule. It's kind of, when you think about it, it makes sense. The treatment you get from the locals is inversely related to how many tourists that place gets. So if a place gets a lot of tourists, if you're in Times Square, don't expect the locals to really roll out the red carpet. If you're on the Champs-Élysées in Paris, same thing. If you're in, the, in front of the Fontana Trevi in Rome, same thing. 
So there's definitely an over tourism problem in Europe. Barcelona is even is even having protests. Go home tourists. They don't want any more tourists. And good luck trying to speak Catalan anywhere in Barcelona. You, you just don't find people. I'm sure. I mean, there's, they speak Catalan at home, but you don't find people at the restaurants speaking Catalan. So if you wanted to practice Catalan in Barcelona, it's really hard to find someone to practice with. If you want to speak Portuguese in Brazil, it's so easy. It's 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 you have to do it almost. So it's 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 fun. It's, you really get to experience the local culture. People are much friendlier than I've experienced in other cultures. And it's not just at a service level. I know in 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 Asia people tend to be friendly, but there also seems to be a distance. Where in Brazil, you could literally spend a week in Brazil and make legitimate Brazilian friends that you will keep for the rest of your life. This is kind of uh, a thing that I think only Brazil does. I don't, I'm not so sure that other countries, of course it can happen, but there's a, a lot of bureaucracy in making friends in other countries that doesn't exist here in Brazil. I think it would be pretty difficult to make a European friend in a short period of time unless you are already introduced into that circle of friends. Where in Brazil, people are much, much more open to making new friends. I found that in Brazil, the United States, I'm sure would also be pretty difficult to come for a week and make some new friends. Maybe if you were in a place like New York, where people are, you know, there's a lot of transplants, people from another place, that you might be able to do that in a place like New York. But Brazil, it's completely easy. It's not uncommon to be invited to a barbecue later on that week, someone's country house. These things happen all the time. So I think that's a really fun thing to do. And it's really one of the things that I like about Brazil. You get an authentic experience and you get a experience where you can really meet people from the place. So we've talked about how the price is better. You will be welcomed by the locals and you have authentic experiences, which is what I like. I like to travel to get authentic experiences. I don't like to travel just to take pictures in front of monuments. Some people do, and that's fine. That's, you know, that everyone has their, their particular reasons for travel. And I like to travel to experience local cultures in an authentic way. And it's much easier to do that in Brazil than in another country. Let's talk about the food. Usually when you think about good cuisine you think about paris and rome and, and, and italy and, and while the food is really good there because of the number of tourists you really have to watch out for tourist traps there's so many different tourist traps and and the service i have to say is very transactional you really have to jump through hoops to get a table they want to know if you're gonna eat if you're just going to drink and you don't get treated really well the the menu is sometimes you see the menus that's just pictures and you know it's definitely a tourist trap so while there are good restaurants in 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 europe of course the, the food is good if you go to the supermarket you can certainly get some some good food i think if you're comparing the food in europe and the food in brazil i probably have to give the edge to brazil i know that might be a little controversial but if you want to get a good steak it's so much easier to get a good steak here in Brazil. If you want any kind of meat or even seafood, sushi, if you're in Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo is one of the best places in the world to eat sushi because they have the largest Japanese population outside of Japan. They had a huge Japanese immigration. So a lot of a lot of Japanese food, they have a lot of Michelin star restaurants, a lot of uh, creativity going on where they're mixing traditional aspects of Brazilian cuisine with kind of fusion and new age uh, cooking techniques. I'm not a chef, so I don't even particularly love going to restaurants, but my wife, she, she loves to eat out. And so she always has a list of places. And they, when you, when you, when you do the bill at the end of the day, maybe you just go out for two people, spend like $60 and you, and you drink and you eat well, where in Europe, if you're drinking well and eating well, that would be double in the United States. That might be triple. So, and, and that's like not even looking at the prices. You can go to a, I go get my food every day here at the local corner restaurant and I could fill up my plate for six dollars with meat and rice and beans and vegetables so that's like more of a you know local place not no frills place which are places that I like to go so there's 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 
there's places for every, every budget. If you want to go high budget because of the the exchange rate, you can stay at, you know, the Rosewood, which is the nicest place in Sao Paulo. In Sao Paulo. I mean, that's, I'm not sure actually, but it's one of the nicest places in Sao Paulo. You'd pay maybe half the price of what you pay in Europe, maybe a third of the price depending on the, on the night. So if you want to stay in luxury, you can also really get a good deal in in Brazil right now because of the exchange rate. Um, Let's talk about the beaches. I think Brazil has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. You have islands where you, well, first of all, I've never been there, but one of the most beautiful beaches in the world is called Fernando G. Noronha. And you have to take a private, not a private plane, but like a charter flight over there. So if you have a, not even deep pockets, for, for Brazilians it would be deep pockets, but if you just want to spend a little bit more, you can go to that island and it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful experiences you'll ever have in your life. So definitely check that out. But I always go to Ilha Bela. It means beautiful island. It's an island. I have videos up from Ilha Bela and on, on my channel. It's an island about, you know, two and a half hour drive from Sao Paulo, the, the, the capital city of the state, which is what usually they say, Sao Paulo capital. And then Sao Paulo is also a state. Think of New York, where New York is a, is a state and also a city. Different from New York, though. Sao Paulo is the capital of the state. Where Albany is the capital of New York, but that's that's kind of not important for now. But Ilha Bela, beautiful island. You take a you take a little ferry boat. It takes about 15 minutes. You can bring your car and you're on this beautiful island. There's Ilha Grande, which is an island uh, in the state of Rio, which cars are not even allowed on the island. It's a beautiful, beautiful island. You have all these islands uh, on the on the they call it the Littoral Norte of São Paulo, and then the, going into the the state of Rio. You of course have the city of Rio, which is the most beautiful city in terms of nature in the world in my opinion not the most beautiful city in terms of architecture but if you want a natural beautiful place i don't think you can find a city i'm not talking about like a i'm sure there's towns maybe that are more beautiful but a city with you know six million people more beautiful than rio de janeiro okay and you're gonna if you want to spend a week in, in brazil i still recommend spending one if you want to spend one week and just have a great time uh rio would probably be the place i would check out first if you want to have fun, mix with beaches, I can go more into details on all different types of places that I would choose for different types of reasons. But obviously, Brazil is much larger than Rio and Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, I would go if you want to have fun, if you want to enjoy good nightlife, if you want to enjoy good restaurants, if you want to enjoy like a local dating scene. It's a huge place with a lot of singles. They're having fun. So if you're a, if you're a single person, you want to... Uh, you know, meet some friends, go out to some clubs, eat at nice restaurants. It, it'd be a great place to bring uh, your dates to because you can eat at some of the best restaurants in the world for, you know, one fifth of the price that you pay in New York or, or Paris. So that would be uh, definitely an option. Um, let's talk about some of the beaches in the Northeast. So the Northeast of Brazil has some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Places like Jericoacoara, uh, Porto de Galinhas in, in the state of um, of Pernambuco, you have uh, I believe it's called Marigogi in the state of Alagoas. There's tons of beaches. I can do a list of the most beautiful beaches in another video, but I can just say from my experience, compared to Europe, which definitely has some beautiful beaches. I was in Mykonos and, and Santorini in the, the last trip, but a lot of those beaches are rock beaches. So you get in there and you're 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 stepping on rocks, and the the local infra service infrastructure isn't as good. Maybe they'll have like a nice beach club, but you'll have to pay like 20 euros a drink. Where here they usually have a, if you go, you can go to a deserted beach where you, where you kind of walk through this natural trail and you end and like you're, you're fighting through basic Amazon, not Amazon, Atlantic rainforest. The Amazon is another place I recommend, but we'll talk about that in a second. You're fighting through local, uh, native uh, Atlantic rainforest and you get to a clearing you see the beach and it's crowded so it has some life but not crowded where it's annoying and there's, there'll be a, a local kiosk or there'll be a local shack where someone will be making food they'll be serving local drinks like caipirinhas and you might be paying like five dollars for a caipirinha this size four dollars in some 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 cases so really a much more lively beach scene at a much better price there's a place I go where in in the San Sebastian with the local. This guy was a chef in Sao Paulo, and he moved to he moved to the beach, and he runs a shack where he, he catches fresh seafood. He makes you a, a plate of fried calamari, and you have 
all these different muscle dishes and and seafood dishes it's a great chef and he brings it to you right on the beach and you're it's not too expensive and you have a cold caipirinha or a cold beer and you're looking at a beautiful sunset with your friend it's it's really just amazing and, and the experience uh, i couldn't i couldn't find in, in in europe not that they don't have nice beaches but i would definitely give the beach advantage in terms of natural not only in terms of natural beauty but in terms of fun to brazil and 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 natural beauty sometimes it can get it can get close, but fun I would give uh, the victory to Brazil by a, a wide a wide margin. Okay, so um, and it's not just beaches. There are beautiful colonial towns. I know Europe will. If you want to talk about just architecture and 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 history, I would have to give the edge to Europe. Of course, that's one of the reasons I enjoy going to Europe. But there are some beautiful colonial towns in Brazil. Well, one example would be Ouro Preto, which has some of the most beautiful hillside churches in the state of Minas Gerais. It's really just, it's just amazing. Parachi, which is a, a colonial beach town. And this was basically because they had a, a gold rush at one time in Brazil. And, um, and they built some beautiful, beautiful churches, and beautiful, beautiful buildings. And Parachi was one of those cities where the, the, the kind of royal road ended and the gold went back to Portugal and back to Europe and eventually back to uh, the United Kingdom. But that's a story for another day. And uh, actually, if you've ever seen one of the Twilights, they, they went to Parachi. They went, they went to Rio, the, 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 the main city, Rio. Uh, they were in Lapa, which is one of uh, a lively neighborhood in Rio. Then they went to Parachi. So, um, another, uh, Olinda, which is a city in Pernambuco and Hennessy. had some beautiful um, colonial, colonial arch architecture. R really, really beautiful. And, and people don't usually think about that. I would say nature. It's probably one of the most um, most important things or one of the biggest advantages you get going to Brazil. Amazon, it's huge. I've been there. It's, it's, it's amazing. I need to make a video about that. We have the Pantanal, which is a wetlands, which you can see you can see jaguars and all these different types of birds and amphibians and reptiles. Depending on the season, it's, it's one of the most beautiful places. Jalapão, which is another natural place where you definitely want to check out um and hiking they have different uh chapadas which are kind of like mesas where they're um, you know highlands you have chapada gimantinas chapada chapada veadeiros if i'm not mistaken and, and these are just places you can go for hikes and camping and, and it's really just amazing but i mean to wrap it all up i think the main reason you want to go to brazil is the brazilian people that is why I love Brazil. People are friendly. People are fun. People are interesting. People joke around with you. And it's authentic. If you want authentic travel at a fifth of the price that you would spend in Europe, come to Brazil. So that, that, would, be my, that would be my pitch. If you want to learn any Portuguese, I'll make some other videos. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.